Hey everybody, it's Slate Your Lifetime. I got Steve-O, the wingman, apparently. That's his new thing. Steve-O, the wingman, that's right. <laughs> We're here. Thank you. <laughs> sorry. I'm kind of rude. Yes, I'm sorry. My sarcasm is like kind of rude. We're here at Frankie's Tiki Room. I but I saw Tiki Lounge off the website, or somebody's website. We're here at Frankie's Tiki Room. We're going to go check this place out. Because we saw it last time we were here vlogging over here off Charleston Boulevard. And we saw this little building and wanted to know what it was all about. So now we're going to actually go check it out. Yeah, when we were over here in the Scotch 80s neighborhood. Yeah, this, oh yeah, that's, that was a cool That's when we saw this So place. check out that vlog too because we drive around the, the old Scotch 80s where the mobs used to live. Alright guys, let's go check it out. what it looks like. I wanted to capture it before it got dark because I don't know what my uh, camera's like. To... And it's actually dark inside so I apologize in advance if the uh, camera doesn't capture good lighting. But I definitely wanted to capture the outside before it got too dark. Um, as you see here's the Strat. So we are north of Vegas or the Strip at least. And uh, this place is open 24 hours. It does not serve food. <laughs> so do not come hungry. Alright let's go check it out. So we're here on the side street. We're on the actual street right here. So this is the actual, we got the freeway to Charleston Boulevard. Steve's doing some kind of foot measurement over here. Um, what I thought was kind of cool, I just noticed a lava rock right here. Um, their decorations are authentic, 100%. So look at the transition from this to their property where you see this lava rock. I thought that was kind of a cool little thing. Um, yeah, it says a unique combination of South Seas Exotica. 100% original and deeply rooted in tiki tradition. So, yeah. And they actually have a saying on the entrance that I do not know how to pronounce and or know what the heck it means. So maybe somebody in the uh, tiki room, um, the owner or the employees might know what this means. Let me say real quick though, it says in 2008, uh, the owner, today's owner, P. Moss, bought this bar used to be a 50s era theme called Frankie's Bar and Cocktail Lounge. He brought Tiki back to Las Vegas because they were practically Tiki-less. So let's go check it out. Here's that saying I was talking about. Who knows what that means? Yeah, if you guys know what it means, comment down below. If we can't... Yeah, really. So let's go check it out. All right, we just entree into here. It is dark in here, so yeah, it's not going to capture the best footage, but I'll do the best I can. So, oh, light has come. Ah, it takes a couple minutes to adjust to it, too. All right, so here we go. We got a... I'm not sure what that's about, but there's... We got a jukebox so you can choose your own ambiance of music. There's a puffer fish light. That's cute. Ooh, there's some naked ladies over here. Okay. All right, so all the ambiance is pretty cool in here. So, capture some. These must be the bathrooms. Okay. They do have uh, gaming at the bar. So, that's cool. I will show you the menu, too. This is a neat picture. Here's the ceiling, is what that looks like. And we are seated all the way at the end here, so let's just kind of peruse the rest of this place. All right. It's got a little seating back here. A couple more little pictures. This. Okay. Some more puffer fish lights. Oh yeah, here's one right here. Cracking me up. And then another like little nook right here. And then of course we're seated right over here. So let's go peruse that menu. So from what I'm told is by the number of skulls is the potency of your drink. So see how it gets more and more. So you are going to be, you know what, face at the end of one of these guys. Look at that one right there. So 
quite a selection of the cocktails, mixed cocktails here. And they also have, let's see the back side real quick. You got your classic TV drinks. Let's see if I can get some clarity here. There we go. All right, and that ends that. We've got some. These are all just free looks, but they do have souvenir cups that you could purchase your drinks in, which I believe what are these guys. Just take note, it says all drinks are $11, but served in the souvenir mug, it's $27. So you don't have to wonder. It's a basic price for all of them. All right. So again, here's the, the bar area. We're at the very back, so this is what the whole bar area looks like. So I'm opting just for the glass of wine because I'm boring, but she also said if you're going to gamble, if you're going to game, um, they won't comp the poofy drinks, these guys, but they will comp the, the beers and wines. And I don't know the other stuff, but anyway, um, this one right here is the popular one apparently. But this one is the one Stevo is going to try. So we'll see what he thinks of that. Ooh, my God, look at those skulls. He's got five skulls going on. Yikers. All right, well, we'll see how he feels after that drink. Yes, yeah, so apparently I'll be driving home because, good Lord. Right, Stevo? Um, apparently, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> he didn't I even didn't, know. I didn't even see the skulls on there. He didn't even know. Yeah, that was the more skulls, the, the more potency it is. Uh, Oops, did I d fail to tell you that one? Yeah. Oh, Oopsie. Wow, look at that stir stick. All right, so here we go. Steve's got, oh, what is it? It's a stir stick. I know that, okay. but you said, look at that stir stick. Like, what's, what's no. going on with it? I don't know. It looks, it's a spear. Oh, cool. That's cool. All right, and then just boring. Chardonnay. All right, so we'll see what Steve thinks of his. Yeah, give it a shot. Give it a shot. It's called the Ninth Island. I hope I can. If it's that strong, it might not Better mix it up. Maybe I'll use my stir stick. Oh, good lord. He's taking forever on this thing. I'll just be reading over here. Oh, you're finally on it. Okay, here we go. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. You want to right. taste it? Yeah, I guess I will. Hang on. All right, Lingering act of passion fruit. It's all or dark. Something. It's like I'm in a little good. scary so room. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's strong. Um, it's good, though. If I can taste the potency of it, like if you had too much of that, it, it's going to hit you like that. Yeah, it probably is going to hit you. Wine is like a nice. But, uh, did you already read them, the, what's in it? Nice and smooth. I didn't read them all, though. No. Oh. The Ninth Island, I did not read the details on that one. Well, the Any Ninth guys? Island is. Oh, yeah? Vegas is considered the Ninth Hawaiian Island. Vegas is considered the Ninth Hawaiian Island? Yeah, according to this little thing. Really? Apparently. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. what it says. That's cool. What's on the front door? What that means? Uh, it means uh, best place on, on Earth. Oh, okay. Yes. We were wondering that. We're like, okay, there's a... I don't even know how to pronounce it either. I know, I don't either. Okay, but, but you know what, what it means. <laughs> and it's a true fact. He said that Vegas is considered the ninth island. Yes, that is true. That is correct. <laughs> okay, that's cool. The extremely friendly bartender, Kat, here said, okay, so if you're going to be gambling, the wine, beer, and single liquor drinks are comped. But the tiki drinks are not because there's just a lot of labor involved in these drinks, which completely makes sense. I mean, look at the ingredients on some of these things. So anyway, let's gamble and hope for My favorite game of all is Deuces Wild. Even if I don't win, at least it takes me a while to play off my 10 bucks I'll be playing. And I only play the quarters. I thought it was funny smile, the tikis are watching. How to capture that. <laughs> I'm not going to pay any attention to Do not to your look at my gaming, sir. As I jinx you. Yes, you jinx me. What are you playing, Kino? Yes. I'm playing Deuces Wild. I'm at, started at 10 bucks. I'm at 950 right now. And I've got, oh, I don't know how many points I have. I thought I'd said 19, but you need to earn 19 points for a $20 free play box. Probably takes forever to get there. That's all right. It's all good. It's all good. I want to earn something, right? Why not? It's free to 
get re rewards. Little guys have little reward um, cards, so you know, it's worth the shot to get it. Okay, so if they decide to get a souvenir cup, it's, uh, she was saying right here is the ones for sale. So you get to choose from these guys, so. I was off on these guys. Although those guys look kind of cool too. What's up with them? Yes? Don't have to. If we wanted the Oh, yeah, you could just get the $11 drink. The souvenir cup is 27 Oh, just the souvenir cup without a drink? souvenir cup, they would just put this toward it. And I could oh, that's my cool. Drink. Okay. Yeah. Since I didn't ask. Let's this area right here. Yeah, we need a tiki lounge. Everyone needs a tiki lounge decoration. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. I just thought that was kind of cool to look at. They're playing some like old videos right now playing some kind of like surf type Hawaiian type music. That's the ambiance. So let's just, again, I'm actually surprised my phone is recording pretty decent in the dark like this. I thought it'd be really blurry and bad. It's not. So yay. Sometimes I get bored and I switch over to Kino. So hey, look at I got three. So I won. I won three coins. Yay. I'll probably go back to Deuces Wild, but that's kind of how I do. I always do Kino and then Deuces Wild. Fun stuff, just so you know. So, uh, Steve-O has finished his potent drink, and uh, and what are you going to go with next? Um, that was pretty good, though. I hate that. I mean, I'm, well, I'm even. I'm a so to try a poofy drink. Or you can stick to your beer. However you want. I'm just going to stick to my wine. Maybe I'll read over the menu real quick. All right. If I can see. I can't see it. Back to <laughs> Kina. Hey, check this out. Second time around. I got three again. That never happens. They did say that uh, on the website that their gaming is pretty good here. Loose slots or something like that. Similar to that. Not slots, but you know what I mean. I'm talking about chances of winning are good so hey not that I'm like winning I'm, I'm down 75 cents but you know what I always assume that when I'm gambling I'm gonna lose my 10 bucks and that's okay if I win awesome but I'm not winning I'm not living off gambling let's just put it that way or you're in big trouble if you have that kind of mindset anyway Steve-O decided to go with a Bud Light if someone served me shots and that's roll, and she says and that's okay <laughs> I have yeah, to admit I think, the, I think if I had gotten one more of those I think I'd be in trouble oh I, yeah I think I, so too I, I'm, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I will say though the service here is excellent the people are extremely nice here so definitely worth coming to guys so Steve just got 20 session points which gave him a $20 jump on his uh, I was going to say income <laughs> <laughs> like I yeah. said, don't even rely on this as your income. That was the first thing I was going to say. That's not good. <laughs> Here's the word. This is the first time we've actually played and actually got rewards. This small little guy here, this small little place, Tiki Room, gave us points. I mean, everywhere else we've gone, all the big casinos, because we don't gamble a lot, no, we've the, gotten nothing, that's not man. True. That's not true. No, what did Tropicana. we get? I got free play at Tropicana. Because we, we signed up for the signed up. But yeah. you didn't earn it. You just signed up, and that's what you got. Well, but this I is like suppose. you actually earned it, and you got something. This is the first time we actually got something. Well, okay. Yeah. I don't know what the distinction is. All right. Well, because you actually played and won something, where they just you sign up and you get something. The Sunset Station gave us something too, and I right when we signed up. But this is like you actually earned, like you played and got something. I've yet to have that happen. So I'm just saying, guys. All right, it went from Deuces Wild back to Kino. The question is, do you go back to the same numbers you were playing, or do you switch them up? Steve-O says... Well, somebody always told me, never at, switch at, your numbers. At the Seafair Inn in Whittier, which is now closed, which was a nostalgic little seafood restaurant that was open for 53 years in Whittier. Just 54. Like 54? I think it was 53. Yeah, anyway, one of the old customers there said, don't switch your numbers no matter what. So I guess I won't switch my numbers and we'll see what's happening because I'm down to $3.75, man. Deuce's Wow is not doing well for me. 
Let's see how it plays out. Back to the numbers I was playing. And I just switch them up randomly. I did not select them for any reason. There's no like birth dates or dates, blah, blah, blah. It's just numbers. So let's try one credit. Boom. And one. That gets me nothing. All right, I'll update you later and see how it all plays out. I just noticed I'm only two points shy of that $20 bonus play, but I only have $2.50 left. So we'll see. Will I get that bonus play? Or will it make me put a couple more bucks into the damn thing? Because that's how they get you. See how they win? See how they win. We'll see. Oh my God, I just won. The tw oh my god. I just, I just, well it's not going to say it, but I just, I had one more point left and, and I got it. I got it. Plus you won on that hand. Congratulations, Christina. You have earned 20 session points. And I, oh, I highly recommend you guys come into Frankie's Tiki Room. Oh my god. That, that's like the first. So I have now $22.25 to play with. Before I was down to $2.25 and boom, I just got 20 bucks. I'm just saying, just highly recommend. Just a little giggle over here. I heard some of the other people on the other side of the bar and uh, he's asking for another drink and the girlfriend or wife is like, I thought you weren't going to have anything. He's like, yeah, that's before she asked. I just thought that was kind of funny. That's all. It's just my, why do my eyes look like all dilated and black and spooky? I feel like I'm in a seance room back here with this Hawaiian music, because that's how it rolls. Anyway, back to Kino. Okay, so no. five well, Steve-O just hit four well, out of four. Yeah, but I'm pissed at myself. Oh, because you one. only played the one, the 25 center? That's all I played. That's like 91. But I would have won like, 25 centers, I would have won like 800. Oh, he, see, that's the problem. Like, he's playing big, and then he's playing small, and then he's playing big. Just, I'm just playing small, so I'm not like, you know, uh, wah, wah, disappointed. Because that just gets you. That just like, gets you mentally when you're like oh I should have played that just like changing your numbers and all of a sudden your numbers are being picked yeah I could see why that guy said stick to the same number so you're not getting all like oh my god I was just playing for those stress level alone, it yeah it's for stressors alone just stick to the same numbers at least for the day so they're talking about how many the guy was asking her how many more regulars than tourists you get here and she's like you know what it is kind of a mix because you get a lot of regular tourists here too I don't know. All right, so she says you just worked a Saturday shift and she didn't recognize anybody, so it must have been a lot of tourists. Which I did ask her, are you busy on the weekends? Oh, yeah, definitely. So that's why we came here on a Tuesday uh, early evening because we wanted to, like, not have to deal with the crowds because this place is tiny, as you see. So <laughs> I didn't want to have to be standing in line for a drink. This is kind of nice. It's like... So, regular tourists, she said. I think that's the norm here. Regular tourists. Yep, that guy just says every time we're in town, we come to Frankie's. So, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Yeah, Steve was talking to me. Oh, never mind. The camera's on. How many session points do you have? And I'm like, oh, I have 43. How many do you? I'm thinking I'm all cool. And then Steve said, yeah, do another round? Yeah. 72. Oh, oh, oh. Were you... Were you Oh yeah, I have to drive home. I think I'm good with one. I, I, yeah, I'm, yeah, because I gotta drive. But he's he's not, so he's good. He's good with the Bud Light. He's good with another one. But yeah, no, he's got 72 session points with a 48 dollars and 25 cent situation, and I've got a 12 dollars and 75 cent situation. So I really can't talk smack right now. Seriously. All right, Steve is changing his game up. He is like seriously reading up on the how to on whatever she is playing. What is exactly? This, are this you is playing? a. It's a. You can if you win your hand, you have an opportunity to. Good <laughs> lord. You're like yeah, wow, you're like, like right up in your face, <laughs> up in your grill. Yeah. So go ahead. So anyway, <laughs> you, you can you can wager and, and double your money or or triple your money. Oh wow! So you're, you you are to, taking this but seriously. But basically, basically, what it is is like uh, high card. So you 
you bet your money and then you play high card. You bet high card that you're gonna draw a higher card than they are. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. And you have and, some and, you have different cards to choose from. I'm just gonna say we started at ten bucks, forty bucks is what he has. Not too bad. So even if you lose, hey, we just lost ten bucks. And I'm still at I'm back to Deuces Wild by the way. Nine dollars. So that's not too bad, I guess. Only playing my twenty-five center. I don't know what Steve is gonna play. We're just gonna see. I wonder if we should cut this into two vlogs. Us gambling. And, <laughs> yeah, and really. Well, we'll, just, we'll just update <laughs> I don't you. Think they really give a damn about our gambling. Well, no, it's all part of the whole tiki oh, situation. It yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's all about. Yeah, all because this place is like, you know, the best. Way, I mean, so far, I think I've been most lucky here. The four queens I was excited about with my five center games, but I've, I think I've never, uh, I'm not that I'm winning, but I mean, I've played longer than any other place, so that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm digging that. Okay, I gotta use the restroom. I'm assuming this one would be mine because they've got coconut boobs, <laughs> and Steve O's got no coconut boobs, so I'm so. just gonna guess that. This is the ladies' restroom. <laughs> That's so dangling, cute. So. They're dangling. <laughs> All right, bathroom is now vacated, so let's go check it out. All right, let's see what we have here. I see bathroom. Bigger than I thought. That was just gonna be like you walk in and there's the toilet, but no, it is an actual sink and stall and interesting pictures on said stall. So. Alrighty then. Cool. Alright, so we're back out looking at the jukebox and Steve wanted to like point out the music that they had to offer here. Yeah, so it's basically the wine and or surf guitar. Yeah. That's cool. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, with some Dick Dale if they have any. Lost Legend of Surf Guitar. Nice. Yeah. And there were Wipeout. There's boobies over there, just so you know. <laughs> I said boobies. The men's room is decked out in uh, stuff. Stuff. You know, just a lot of a lot of Hawaiian. Yeah, like we had stuff on our Hawaiian. bathroom stall too. Yeah. So. so, but but it was clean. That was yeah. nice. Cool. All right, we're gonna head out now, guys. So yeah, and this was the tiki that we ran into. Bye, Frankie. See you, Kat. Bye, Pufferfish. Bye, friendly staff. We'll see you again. <laughs> that was an interesting exit. There's a homeless guy uh, okay. right in front of the door. And we couldn't get out because he was blocking it. But that's okay. We told him maybe to sit to the side so people could get out because the poor guy's going to get I think he was trying to time. absorb some of the warmth coming out of there. Oh, maybe. But probably not a good idea to block the door. Yeah. Um, besides that... <laughs> Hate to say, highly recommend, but I do highly recommend Frankie's Tiki Room because it was a lot of fun. Staff is extremely friendly. We're not in the, like the, I would say the best area of Las Vegas. And actually, uh, I know somebody who is a firefighter out in this area, and he's like, oh yeah, yeah, Charleston Boulevard, yeah. But there's some cool areas here. Just go it's here a, and go back. Yeah, like, don't just, roam the streets. Don't walk I around think the neighborhood. You're gonna be fine if you just. Stay within the confines of where yeah. you're going. Don't decide to walk down the street into the neighborhoods or anything. No right. Deal. So, but all in all, but, definitely a cool place. We actually, well, I didn't make be out. Careful anywhere you you know. walked out with thirty bucks, right? Yeah, I got thirty bucks. And I walked out with four dollars and fifty cents. Don't be asking. Don't be questioning. She lost again. Yeah, whatever. Because <laughs> he was staring at my. Sh don't she has a very convenient game. excuse every time she loses. <laughs> That's why I don't like to gamble much. And I play cheap. Because I thank don't God get all... That. Yeah, thank God for that. Trust me. Anyway, um, other than that, I highly recommend this place. Really cool place. We actually won 20 bucks for playing. And then we just played it. So that's how it is. Anyway, but it was fun. And I definitely will come back here. So... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Talk Bye. to you later. Bye.